Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. The summer grip of Texas uh, continues, and it's going to be a long, hot summer. Certainly, I hope you survive the weekend. Right now, we're at 89 degrees. We're heading on our way into the mid, maybe lo low 90s, definitely, and maybe the mid 90s. Inland areas over the weekend were at the 100 degree mark, and today we'll continue with those temperatures being way above normal. So anybody that's working outdoors has just got to remember that we do still have the heat index advisory. And I guess I don't need to tell you that, but I'm going to be repeating this all, all summer long as you got to take it uh, easy in the middle of the uh, afternoon when the peak heating and the high heat index makes it feel on your body like it's this hot, 105 to 109. Over the evening hours, we actually had some stormy weather last night and this morning over North Texas. You can see the big line that developed out here in uh, where the dry line is located. But as it moved into higher pressure, it fell apart. You can see right about there. But even Austin got some big stormy weather and much of the hill country did actually get some rain. Let's zoom in and see what it looks like. Uh, here's San Antonio. Here's Austin. You can see the remnants of it are just falling. In other words, look at this. It was stormy over San Angelo. It fell apart and then it didn't even make it to I-35. So everybody on the other side just got short changed. The rainfall totals were impressive. Uh, you can see Austin here up to uh, two and three inches of rain. In fact, one four inch rain occurred out here in the hill country, but that's out in the middle of nowhere, but also important for the waters to uh, flow into the watershed of all of the highland lakes and all of our hill country rivers. And eventually that some of that will come down into our area. So somebody got some rain in Texas last night. A lot of it was caused by the stationary front. Now, it's not a very cold front, but it is drier air to the north and more humid air to the south. And that boundary triggered off some of that activity, of course, combined with the intense heating that started uh, the atmosphere rising. So as long as high pressure is out over the southwestern part of the state, we're going to be under the gun. Here's the bubble of hot air. You can see it's sort of growing right about here. This is the rain associated, the moisture associated with that rain last night. Dry weather in the brown here, dry weather over the Gulf, dry weather actually still out over the uh, Caribbean or at least the eastern part. Little bit of moisture right here and the computer models, as I mentioned last week, right about here, the computer models keep wanting to spin up a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Today they sort of backed off, but we're going to watch it to see if what uh, trend we have over the next couple of weeks. The uh, ridge of high pressure really stays in control. Our chances of anything significant, well, the only thing I can tell you is in the short term, we're going to be looking at uh, the temperatures staying in the 90s with no real break in sight. We're looking at highs staying around 90 degrees. That is it from the uh, La Palmera Community uh, Court. Uh, you can come by anytime and visit us. There's your seven day forecast coming up. Still hot and more humid as we get to the weekend. Mike, we'll toss it back to you. All right, everybody try to stay cool. Thank you, Mac.